same people that will be like, oh, we want to take pictures of you with the same people that wanted to get Danny alone. Or to someone tried to spike his drink. Yeah. Like, sorry, what? Someone, someone tried to spike his, his drink his at drink. a party, yeah. Every time wow. I was there, they would talk to him. And as soon as I would walk away, they'd try and talk to him because they knew that I was very clued up. How did you know? Oh, like, we watched them do it. <gasps> oh, yeah. so they actually spiked yeah. the drink. But, yeah. So they, they spiked like, it, but he didn't happened. drink it. Of course not. So, yeah. course not. so his drink was spiked. He, they spiked his drink. Wow. And then when we were leaving, people kept shouting Yuande's name. I was like, Yuande, Yuande. And we were like, it's just not but you and the guys send you right it, my point exactly i would i would be the one to respond because to be fair to him as a guy <clears throat> if he opens his mouth it's just gonna end badly unfortunately it's just how guys are yeah. so it was a lot mm. easier for me to be the one to do the talking and just be like guys it's not that deep mm. he'd known her for two weeks yeah he might have it might have looked like he'd done it really wrong he apologized for the things he did mess up on they've mm. spoken since mm. it's fine mm. they just didn't want to hear it so when we're trying to walk away they're like where are you going where are you going and unfortunately that led to us having to be like put in a different section oh, wow. we had to be separated and then a fight broke out elsewhere mm. because everyone wow so to then reveal that herself and boyfriend danny fear for their safety due to the yuande gate backlash and danny's drink being spiked at an event last week so this is very interesting and we're going to get into this as well. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, do subscribe. Click that button because I'm giving you content every single damn day, 24-7. I am serving you content hot, burning. And follow me on my Instagram, Murad Morali. I'd massively appreciate it. So we have another snippet from this podcast that's also going a bit viral right now on Twitter and according, causing a lot of alarms and everybody speaking up about it where Danny had a drink spiked because obviously everybody is still really upset and furious you know for what happened with the, with the whole yuande gate situation people are now calling it now granted what he did to yuande was wrong and obviously at the time everybody was still pissed and upset but if you are taking that irritation for what he did to yuande to the point where you are trying to either harm this individual or you know jordan in person spike their drinks you know, he Danny himself even spoke up about being, you know, abused and racially and stuff online because of the stuff. If you're doing all of that as well, it's not cute at all. And I feel like there is a limit. And as grown ups, we should all be able to understand what a limit is. Nobody should have the spike drink. Nobody should be treated badly physically in, you know, in person. And, you know, granted, none of us like Danny in terms of how his character was portrayed. And we don't like Danny in terms of his character. Danny could be a very nice person to you as an individual in life. But obviously what you've seen online, what you've seen via the show, what he's done, obviously it was bad. And we didn't like Jordan either. They both had very bad edits on top of the fact that Danny was somebody who, you know, tricked you one day. Even though um, Jordan was saying it, she wasn't saying that he did anything bad to you one day. He, she was saying that how it looked. She keeps saying how it appeared. Same with Amber, which I find her wording to be interesting. But that's not the crux of this issue. The, the crux of this issue is, you know, the fact that he got his spike drink and that he's going through a lot. And that apparently now Jordan is saying that you one day or should also speak up. And I feel like she should say something because if this is what's going on. She has to bring it to attention. Say this, you know, it's all settled now. Let's move on. In the hype of the situation when this was all going on via Love Island, via the episodes and we were watching it and Yawande got evicted and, and you know, when this was all going on at that moment, of course people are going to be up pissed and upset because there are consequences to your actions. However, at the same time, there needs to be limitations. People need to understand and, you know, people need to really, really understand what's going on here. Like, obviously, people know that I didn't like Danny at all. But if I see him on road, I'm not going to spike his drink and go up to him and say, oh, you know, you messed up your hand. Or like, you know, like who's got time for all that? No one. Like, this is the definition of immaturity, childishness, and a waste of time. You're wasting your time going up to these characters, which are where I see them as characters, people. And, you know, you're bringing the show onto real, real-life reality. And I feel like, what are you going to gain out of that? Like, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. Um, at the same time, they should also understand that they consciously took part in a show that is ridiculously massive, and there's going to be backlash for your negative actions. But... That doesn't justify the spiking the drinks, the abuse they're getting, and the fact that Jordan, you know, is really trying to look after him and that they're both going through stuff. And th th this kind of craze could split them up as well because this seems like a massive tornado of tensions. And, you know, I do feel sorry for them, especially from the way they're speaking. And I feel like she comes off in this podcast a bit more relaxed than she does via her interviews, via the stuff that we've seen on Love Island. She comes off a bit different here, a bit more chilled, a bit more real here. But at the same time, you know, 
I feel like the producers, you know, since they had they introduced this aftercake, where is it? Because these individuals are getting their drinks spiked or getting people around them and so forth. Surely you should not man them with bodyguards or be, you know, a bit more careful if they're coming out when they've been in a bad situation, you know they're gonna get bad backlash. Surely you should. But at the same time, are they, you know, you have to understand that they consciously signed up to a show where they knew they wanted to get a bit more clout and famous and followers and whatever, whatever, whatever from. So surely something this might happen if you've done something that the national public wouldn't like you to do. But at the same time, it doesn't justify any of the behavior that Jordana is explaining that is happening to her and Danny at all doesn't justify it, it's wrong, it's disgusting, and there's this kind of line here that people just like to cross, and it's very immature and irritating, and it can be quite sad, unfortunately. But um, do let me know what you guys think about this whole new saga, do you think you wanted to speak out, and what are your thoughts on um, him being, you know, Spike, which I feel quite scary and sad I feel sorry for him. Do let me know what your thoughts are, you subscribe, click that button, follow me on my Instagram, Murad and Skoma Rali, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video tomorrow. I will be listening to the full, the, uh, 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 I will be listening to the podcast at length tomorrow, can complete full, and I'll break it down for you, and obviously, you know, just write notes about the entire hour and get into it and perhaps if she's spilling that then she's probably spilling a lot more tea so we need to get into that tomorrow but i thought i just spilled the tea that i've been saying to you guys that i found some juicy stuff or whatever so we can begin discussing this kind of situation so that we are all in the know of the stuff in this podcast and even more so so let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys soon for another video